today like i'm so there's so much going on in my head <laughs> and i wanted to do certain things and say certain things and film certain things and it's just all gotten away from me unfortunately but i feel like today right now i've got some time before i head to work so i feel like i'm gonna sit with you guys and do a video that i wanted to do but like it was kind of more like a pass the time kind of a video one that i'm gonna enjoy but also one that isn't really filled with much content as people probably think um but it's new things that i bought and it's kind of a situation where i've purchased certain things and it's been a com an accumulation of like one week of purchases things that i've actually needed to purchase um but also things that i want to try um and changes that i wanted to make it's just everything coming together so we're gonna go through the bag i'm gonna like reach in grab one and we'll talk about it okay so just stay tuned first things first i'm just gonna reach in i'm not gonna look i'm just gonna reach in and grab the first thing that comes out this is oh my god it's a big swan note <laughs> This is the Glycolipid Cream Cleanser from The Ordinary. Now, I bought quite a few cleansers from The Ordinary and the reason is that I am insane. In my head, um, the logical part of me states that this is unrealistic, but the unlogical, the illogical, unlogical, the illogical part of me states that it makes sense what I'm trying to do. So I've gotten quite a few cleansers, real, they're somewhere in the bag and this is the cream cleanser now i believe in cleansing both morning and night and not everyone believes in that so it's really up to you and your own choices and your skincare and all of that but i personally believe in it so for me a cream cleanser in the morning is the best thing i can do because cleansing at night i want to use a foaming cleanser but foaming cleansers can be too harsh in the morning if you're not really using if you're not really washing anything off and I personally don't want to I'm not, really, I'm not really washing off as much as I'm trying to get my skin a clean enough base for my morning routine right so a cream cleanser for me is the purpose of that so I really wanted to try this one because I feel like recently the ordinary has slowly been making its way onto my watch list I know for some people it's been there for a while and some people are hands down obsessed with the ordinary i'm not one of those people i've never really paid attention to much of their products i was more of an inkulus kind of a girl but i have finally gotten there i'll let you know what this if this works if i like it and if i would remember you guys were using it next we've got this i am taking the tag off of this actually because i was trying to see if it worked um this is just a headband that i got boots for i think like a pound or two pounds and it's meant to be worn over my hair when i have it just out it's not out at the moment but just out and i've been trying to find a new guys can remember it's kind of so ridiculous i'm younger than so many people i'm not that old but if you guys can remember the headbands but they were the ones with the tiny little ridges on the headband the headband is plate i want to say and you put them on and it would have some form of grip so it would dig into your scalp and you pull it back and it just make everything look nice and sleek and i've been looking for those and i found some but they're really thin and so i don't feel like they give the same effect that i've been that i want it to give and so i didn't purchase them i purchased this instead which doesn't have any form of like any it's just like a very spongy um elastic headband which eh, it's okay but i'm if you guys have any recommendations on where to find that can you please let me know in the comments i'm begging like honestly i am begging i really really want one of those headbands um that would make my life so much easier next that is french or is it spanish french is it very french it is french it's canadian i was right i was right okay um, this is the glucoside foaming cleanser. So I was saying earlier that I have a foaming cleanser and a cream cleanser, right? And I didn't think I explained the reason why, but the reason why I buy cleansers of the same brand is because in my head, buying cleansers of the same brand means they're going to work together, which 
I've always advocated for products working outside of working together, but for cleansers for some reason, I've always, I for certain things, I want them to work together, right? So for me, cleansers should always be in the same group. And so I always want to buy cleansers of the same group. I want to buy serums of the same group. So I feel like if your serums don't work for me, that's just not, if one of them doesn't work on me, I'm just not going to buy the entire series, which I know doesn't sound logical, but like I said, it's not the logical part of my brain that's thinking this, it's the logical part that wants everything to be grouped together. Um, so I've got the glucoside foaming cleanser. I think it's like a fur on the bit, but there's nothing there. The glucoside foaming cleanser, um, I'm going to unbox these as well. So at the end, we're going to unbox them. And uh, next, I'm going to go what is this? Oh, see, I also bought clips. Now, I bought clips because I've decided to embrace styling my hair a little bit more this year. Um, well, at least this coming year. I feel like recently what I've just done is I've just washed it and just let it be. Or just like put it up like this. Which isn't really working my hair to its full its full potential which sucks because I know that my hair has really good curls again I can feel something on my lip and I don't know what it is and I, every time I reach to grab something there's nothing there I can feel something there there was there's a piece of hair there we go but yeah these I'm gonna see if these clips are actually meant to go on my roots and to the ends of my hair is kind of stretch it so that it doesn't fluff up. I am not one for voluminous hair. I'm sorry. I prefer length over volume. Um, so I don't like my roots getting all volume. So these clips I'm hoping is going to help to prevent that with the drying process after styling my hair. Next. Ooh. Ooh. This is a new addition to my makeup routine actually. This is the Huda Beauty's Easy Butter Foundation. Is it a foundation? It is. It's a natural airbrush foundation. And it has 1.5% niacinamide and it's meant to give a weightless, comfortable build of a blur. Right? I've got it in the shade 455R, which is peanut butter cup. And I've tested it out in store. So I know that the shade match is fantastic. It's completely, it's completely amazing, actually. Um, my first Huda um, foundation esque product. I've got other products of them, if you been watching you know that I've got their setting powder, I've got their contour, I've got quite a few things from Huda but this is my first foundation based product and I was really happy with the shade match. I've been told however that the foundation runs in a yellow so we're gonna see um but it is what it is right. Next we've got the newest addition to my skincare, which is the Night Vitamin C Serum from Garnier. And I've um, been obsessed. This is the second time I'm going back with this. So if you're wondering what I'm using in my skin right now, it is, for serum wise, it is the Garnier um, Vitamin C-esque products. So this is the Night one. I think the day one should be in there as well, because I think I bought them similar times. This is 10% pure niacin um, vitamin C and it has ascorbic acid as the second ingredient which means that it is quite a high dosage um, and its only main active is going to be vitamin C. You can see other ingredients in there that are possibly active so here it has salicylic acid. No, not because it has salicylic acid means salicylic acid is acting as a active ingredient. Ingredients can be used for other reasons. So vitamin C in a product can be used as an, anti as an antioxidant, not as a, um, a active ingredient. So if you see an ingredient and you're like, it doesn't say that has vitamin C in there, but you can see like ascorbic acid or l or something similar in the vitamin C category. And you're like, but it doesn't say it has vitamin C. It's probably not being used as an active ingredient. So be mindful when you're looking at ingredients that not everything you see means that it's working probably as the ingredient you're expecting it to work as. Um, because many active ingredients can also be used in other areas when it comes to formulation. Right? But that's the night version. I absolutely love them. It's it's a really good product. If you're looking for a cheap um, 
drugstore um, active, I would recommend the Garnier Actives. Ooh, I say that and then I bring this one up. This is the Blutel Sleep Night Oil from ELF. No, this is a blueberry retinol. Um, it's 1% Grand Active Retinol and Blueberry Extract. I've been using this in, in cohesion with the vitamin C um, at night and I love it. It's a really good product. I've been using it for about a month now and I can 100% say I've finally gotten through the purging. So if you see any acne, it's not as a result of purging, it's more so as a result of probably like oils getting into my, into my face and um, giving me clogged pores. <laughs> which I'm working on slowly, but these products are amazing and I love them. The longer I've used them, the more I realize that you can get really good products in the drugstore in 2024 than you probably could before, right? I'm very happy with that. It's, it is a retinol and I know people are like, you're 23, you don't need a retinol. I do have another video, I'm probably gonna film that one right after this, where I wanna talk about the changes that I've experienced and it's just a whole thing. I'm not gonna bring that oh no, but stay tuned. <laughs> Ooh, the final the ordinary product, I think. I think. This is the squatting cleanser. So this is an oil-based cleanser. So it's my makeup removal um step <laughs> in my skincare routine. So this is the first step. No, this is the first time I'm trying any of these. So I don't know whether it works. I do have a friend who uses this and she says she absolutely loves it. So I'm going in with really good hopes. For this specific product, I've never been told about the other ones, but this one specifically, I've been told it is a really good cleanser, so I'm looking forward to it. Also, it's squalene, and if you know anything, I love squalene. Like, it is one of my favorite ingredients. It's an ingredient that I feel like should be in everything because of just how amazing it is. To be fair, it's very hard to get um, um, outside of from shark liver because if you don't know, shark liver is the main source of squalene. You can get it from kelp, which is what um, Biosounds use, that's, that's how they get theirs. So if you're looking more towards animal, if you're more of like an animal activist and you're very conscious about where you get your squalene, I would look towards getting from Biosounds or doing some research on the product and the company as to where, sort, where they source their squalene before I go ahead and purchase it. But it is an amazing ingredient and I would love, love, love if more companies would actually include it in their formulations. What is this? Ooh, I think I know what this is. Yeah. This is the bread uh, hair cream. It's the Elastic Bounce Leave-In. This product is my first time trying it, actually. It's my first time at all. I wanted to get, I was looking for a um, styling product and I was going to get the Curl Smith um, Styling Souffle, I think is what it's called. But for some reason, and this is how you know marketing is so important. They are both eight ounces. Well, this is eight point four. Those souffle is eight ounces, but they're both eight ounces. And I looked at the standing souffle from Girls with, and I was like, it looks a little small. But then this one is a tub, so it's like this is bigger. Granted, it is actually bigger size wise, but in my head, I'm like, this is gonna be more because you know the the, the tub, but. Usually, if you if you're conscious about what if you're trying to be conscious of what the sizing is, look at both the fluid ounces and then the milliliters. Fluid ounces is an overall weight. It's not accurate. Your milliliters will give you a more accurate representation of how much you're actually getting of the product. Also, think about the dispension method if you're wondering because you may be seeing that oh it has this amount in it, but we'll be able to get that entirety of the product out of the dispense out of the um mechanism the what do you call this the um holder <laughs> my brain is not going well my brain never goes well but it was like excuses but also always look at those two things always look at the fluid ounce size the mill size and then the actual product itself to see whether or not if you it says it's this much but are you going to be able to get that much out because that's not always possible right this is their hair oil. I've never actually, I don't know how this looks, so I'm gonna be looking forward to seeing how that looks. But this is their hair oil. Again, in my head, products go together. So I bought this because I was like, I want a styling cream. But then I bought this because I was like, well, I want a hair oil, literally like the second day. If I've done it, my hair dries, when I wake up the next morning and I wanna like 
crunch it out <laughs> or scrunch it out um i want an oil and i so i feel like this should work with that so it won't give me any problems so i'm looking forward to trying that what is next is there anything left oh there is there is actually oh yeah no this one isn't actually in the box <laughs> and the reason for that is because i had opened it before i decided to make this video so i had started why does it look like that is it just me it's probably not just me um, now here's the thing, vitamin C is very very reactive to UV rays and I've had it sitting here where the sun can hit it for a couple of days, it might start to, you know, react, um, oxidize. It hasn't been opened, thankfully, so I'm assuming that can possibly help with the oxidation because it hasn't actually been exposed to air, so I'm hoping that will aid in it. But yeah, the reason that this isn't in a box is because I'd already opened this and then I was like, wait, no, let me do a video talking about how all these products, because I wanted to you know, go through them. So I had opened this already, but it is the day version. So it's the vitamin C, 3.5% with niacinamide and salicylic acid, right? So it is amazing. Um. And again, I've been using this for a month now, so I know that I love it. Um, and we're gonna go start off unboxing because I feel like it's the next possible thing, right? Uh, what were we doing? Oh, it's just a bottle. Am I, am I an idiot? Am I an idiot today? Probably. So this is the Easy Blur. It's really, really cute. <laughs> Although, with these types of dispensation method and mechanisms, it's hard to gauge how much products you actually need. Now, this isn't um, being advertised as a tint, which you normally find as this kind of dispensation. It's being advertised as a foundation. Foundations and tints use very different um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> you don't use the same amount. <laughs> of foundations as you do tins because tins are lighter and not meant to be used as full coverage products they're meant to be used as sheer coverage products products while foundations are meant to be used as buildable products so you might be using more of this product until you figure out how much you actually need so be mindful of that if you are purchasing this i think it's really adorable though like it's just all right but again think about that before you go ahead and purchase the squalling cleanser from the ordinary. Oh, there's paperwork in here. Oh, yeah. yeah, this is how it looks. I think this is like pretty standard. If you've ever gone into a store and you've seen what it, you know what it looks like. But yeah, it is a squalling based makeup, squalling based face cleanser and makeup remover. Um, Dispense product into hands, rub together to warm the product, allowing it to melt into an oil. Massage onto a dry face and rinse with warm water. Now, this is, yes, but they're also missing information if you're being using as an makeup remover. When you massage it into an oil, rub it onto your face, wet your hands, and then go ahead again to emulsify the product. Don't just go ahead and rinse it. That will be completely ineffective if that's the case. So ensure that you emulsify your product by washing your hands and going back in again over where you've rubbed the product to emulsify it to break down the actual makeup before rinsing it off just so you guys know i'm gonna put these aside and these over here it also comes with i have no idea what this is supposed to do um yeah we're just gonna cut right back into the box until later this is the cream cleanser it's white. Ooh, I wasn't expecting that. Um, ooh. It's white. Okay. It's, it's such an odd color. <laughs> I don't know, it just looks wrong. But this is the Glycolipid Cream Cleanser and it is a gentle cream facial cleanser. This says, dispense product into hands, massage well onto a dry face and rinse with warm water. Use as the first step of your skincare routine as a cleanser. Um, for cream, cream cleansers, I do recommend using dry, your hands dry. It's kind of like going in with a oil cleanser, but cream cleansers are a little bit more gentle and they're a lot more moisturizing slash hydrating. You tend to find a little bit more lipids in cream cleansers because they're not meant to really take off makeup. It's more to cleanse gently. So you tend to find them a lot less sudsy um, and a lot more um, moisturizing than your regular cleansers. Sorry. 
This is your glucoside foaming cleanser. So odd. This is like the brown one, and then these two are the white ones. Um, but yeah, this is your glucoside foaming cleanser, and it is a gentle foaming facial cleanser. It says dispense product into hands, massage well onto a wet face, and rinse with warm water. That is actually very true. You would like to use your foaming cleanser on wet skin versus dry skin. Cream cleansers are lipid based, so they work well on dry skin because they're not really reacting with the water to do well. They don't need to react with the water to do well. While a foaming cleanser reacts with the water, it's, it uses surfactants to, um, so it, um, you need to have, add water to get, um, your, what are those things called that people are so afraid of? Um, yeah, but you, I cannot remember the words. Let me just look at the ingredients and then my brain will immediately tell me what it is. If I can find the ingredients, do they not have ingredients on the box? I'm assuming ingredients are going to be in that little piece of paper that I'm not willing to look at. I'm hoping the ingredients are, nope. Yeah, the ingredients are in that piece of paper that I'm not willing to look at and I'm not, mm -mm, no. But yeah. Let's go. Oh, this is the um, hair cream. I'm just like opening it up, not talking. This is the hair cream. And you open it like that, and then you have this lid. And you're opening it like that, and then you... This is your product. This is... It's hair cream. Yeah, it's just like the basic tub. And I'm just like... I didn't do that for anything else. Ooh. It feels very... Oh my gosh. What is that smell? It smells, I don't know how to describe it. It smells kind of like a hair salon in early 2000s. <laughs> that really is what it smells like, like a hair salon in the early 2000s. That is a very loud sound, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's very heavy feeling, like I could sail this at someone. I don't know why that's my first thought, but it is, I could genuinely like throw this at someone's head and it would cause damage. It's very weighty. Um, However, I feel like this is a glass tub, or it feels like a glass tub. This is 100% plastic. Um, this might be a plastic tub, I'm just lying to myself, but it feels like a, yeah, it's a glass tub. So this will break. It won't, it, it will not protect your product, it will break, so be careful when you're using that. Um, let's go to this one next. smell. I think it is the same smell. It's very 90s, no, it's early 2000s hair salon and I don't know what that smell is, but it's, yeah, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about it. It's not, okay, let me, okay, there we go, one, and then like a drizzle. <laughs> But there's like a <laughs> I'm sorry. But like I smelled it and I smell the same thing I did with the um the hair cream, but then there's like an underlying smell of burnt hair. That is exact I'm so serious. You know like when you've overburnt your hair? And then you smell that like crisp hair. That is exactly like, there's a small undertone of burnt hair um, with this product. But okay, this says that it's Australian cockadoo plum, which I'm assuming is what. Yeah, I'm assuming that's what the smell is. 
but not a fan, not a fan at all. We have the uh, Retinol by e.l.f. And again, if you open it up, there's a little white thing, open that up, and you get your product. Now, I'm very happy because if you understand how certain ingredients work, you understand that certain ingredients are very reactive. Having a glass bottle and then having it tinted in this way, and covered basically in this way, means that you're protecting the product on the inside from UV rays touching it and then um, deactivating the um, actives that are in this product. As opposed to a product like this, which is a completely clear bottle, but it has major actives that will be um, oxidized by UV rays, which if Garnier could change anything, it would be this. And I understand why, because I'll show you the the night one soon, but I understand why they tried to do it like this. But at the same time, you have to also remember that whilst the concentration is very small in regards to vitamin C, it's still vitamin C, it's still very active. And everything else can be used as a stabilizer because salicylic acid can be used as a stabilizer in regards to lessening the effects of UV rays on the product, but that does not negate the fact that it is a very, very reactive ingredient, right? But I do love this. And it's very adorable. And it's just a tiny well. It is one foot ounce is 30 mils. And I love that. This is it doesn't tell me. It, oh, still so, nice. 30 mils. Looks like it should tell me. It does. 30 mils. And that goes over there. Lovely product. This is our final product. That needs to be unboxed. That can go well. And like I was saying with this, I understand why they chose to do one the way they did. You can see it very easily from the consistency. You guys can't see it, but I will show a video of me using the products I have at home already to show the, the consistency of this product. It's very liquid. So this is 100% just a vitamin C serum. So it's, vitamin C serums are very watery. They're not very thick because vitamin C in itself dissolves very easily in water. So it's not going to be a very thick um, consistency. This on the other hand has a slightly thicker, um, more slimy, not to say in like a bad way, it's just more like the consistency. It's very more like snail trail in terms of the movability. It's very slow moving. It is a little bit thicker and that's because the other products are thicker and they don't dissolve as easily or as well in water. So they have to give it a good enough base where the products can stabilize and work in the way they're supposed to work. So you can see that very easily. And I understand they do it probably as well because they want to distinguish the nighttime between the daytime, which I'm not upset with. I'm just saying, you have this here since it's for night. You can just do the same, have a sticker here that says it's for day, and then just, right? Change the packaging if you can, Garni. I would be very grateful. Um, but that is, oh, it's gonna fall, it's gonna fall, it's gonna fall, it's gonna fall. There you go. You also got these, but then I don't need to unbox these. You, you can see what they are, all right? that is it guys that is me done for today and i'm so happy that in this video i wanted to do it i've had these products sitting here for so long i haven't used them which kind of annoyed me because i wanted to use them but then i'm like no i want to film this video but then i'm like if i film the, if i don't film the video and i use them i'm not gonna film the video because then i've already used them and i don't want to like go through the entire thing again so i've held out and now I finally opened everything so I can finally use it. So I'll let you guys know what my thoughts are, especially on the cleansers because I've never tried them before. And on the foundation, you'll get a review on that as well, don't worry. Um, and on this, the hair cream and the oil, I'll let you know, because it's my first time using it, I'll let you know whether or not those are worth it. These three, they are staples. They are my no drugstore staples. So if you wonder what my drugstore staples are, it's these three. Um, it's get you, it's gonna get you probably like a good thirty pounds. This product alone is fifty, so it's pretty expensive for a drugstore from Elf. But these, yeah, it's probably gonna hit you around thirty pounds in total, probably, yeah, at the most. Um, for these three as serums, but if you are using retinol, if you are using retinol, these two will give you like a ten 
this is true like a tenner in total um so that will give you everything you need you only need these two um and it sounds insane but that is my ultimate belief you only need those two if you are using something else and the reason is this contains both vitamin c um salicylic acid and myosinamide so you have your three major ingredients all packed into one and skincare is really more about taking your time not really just about finding results as quickly as possible so having something like this that will work over time will do wonders for you and your routine and your skin in and of itself so that's my thoughts and let me know what your thoughts are on all of these products if you've tried any of them let me know in the comments and i will see you all in the next one bye